Hi there, welcome to Rosie's Rant. This week I've attended the ABC conference and thank you to Ron and Irma for bringing together some really interesting speakers and giving us a gathering in which we can talk. My rant today is about the ability for people to misinterpret and spend time focusing on the wrong thing, not the right thing. I don't know about you, but I'm incredibly frustrated with the variety of interpretations going on out there and it's getting worse. For example, I'm sitting in a room of really experienced compliance professionals, the government, Fire Emergency New Zealand, and others from around the world. And from the stage or from a coffee conversation, people say things like, well, I think a hose tap should be being checked on the compliance schedule, or I think photoluminescent strips down a handrail need to be put on a compliance schedule. Well, our council has decided from a bylaw perspective to put back flows from boundary devices and they need to be checked on a compliance schedule. All I can say to you is stop right now. Thank you very much. This is not what the law intended in the spirit of it or when the law started back in 1991. What is the purpose of a BWAF? It's to make sure that the things on the compliance schedule are being checked. What goes on a compliance schedule? A specified system out of the specified systems regulations. If we disagree or argue about what is or is not a specified system, we've got to look and ask ourselves, is this part of the building system? Is this put in by the building act? Regardless of what this device does. So no, backflow devices that are boundary devices our network utility items. No, hose taps are hose taps. If we start doing that, it's going to get insane. No to commercial dishwashers, no to coffee machines, they are plant. No to the items that are plant equipment called, like things that are extracting in a health and safety way. It's really a bucket. If you're a facility manager, which bucket does it go in? Some bit of law is controlling behavior these days. Is it Building Act BWAF? Is it Fire Safety Evacuation? Is it Workplace Safety? It's going to fit in one of those three buckets. What I can say to you is IQPs, compliance people, and council people that look after compliance schedules, stop putting stuff that is plant workplace safety on a compliance schedule. Stop putting fire evacuation trials on a compliance schedule and evacuation notices. It is a building system that was put in by a building consent, so there's the logic. Is this thing I'm looking at put in by a building consent or not? Is this thing a building system item or not? And therefore, what is its test methodology? Often you look up manufacturer's literature and bits like that. Look into the section that talks about maintenance. And if there's anything in there that talks about it being non-serviceable, non-testable devices and such like, or under some other legal jurisdiction, it's nothing to do with the compliance schedule. So that's my rant. If you want to know more and be part of the BuildNet membership, I encourage you to go and check that out over there. If you'd like to know more about that and our online school, check out the details after this video. Thanks and see you later.